In recent years, we have witnessed scientific advancements that challenge the boundaries of reality. Among them, one of the most fascinating, and perhaps underestimated, is our growing mastery of genetic manipulation. But today, what I have to tell you borders on the surreal. A group of scientists is exploring one of the boldest frontiers of biotechnology. This is not just about simple genetic modifications in laboratories but something much more ambitious. The possibility of bringing back to life species that nature had already discarded. Think about this. For millions of years evolution has designed and extinguished countless creatures, shaping the world we know today. But what if we could reverse some of those extinctions? What if we could play with the genetic codes of extinct animals and give them a second chance? The idea may sound like a science fiction script, but today, it is closer to reality than you might imagine. Genetic editing technologies have advanced to a point where we are no longer limited by the traditional rules of reproduction and inheritance. CRISPR and other tools have allowed us to manipulate DNA with unimaginable precision just a few decades ago. And with these advances, an inevitable question has arisen, what species could we bring back, and should we do it? Some scientists believe the answer is a resounding yes. They argue that certain extinct species played a crucial role in their ecosystems and that their return could restore lost balances. Others, however, warn of the risks of playing with forces we barely understand. What impact would bringing an extinct species back to life have on the current ecosystem? Are we prepared to face the unforeseen consequences of our own scientific audacity? This is where a group of scientists has decided to take the first step into this new frontier of biotechnology. They didn't start with a dinosaur or a saber-toothed tiger, but with something smaller, more manageable, yet equally revolutionary. Imagine a creature from the past coming back to life, not as a fossil or a museum representation, but as a living, breathing entity. After years of research, these scientists have achieved an unprecedented milestone. They have created an animal with genes from an extinct creature. It is the colossal woolly mouse, a small rodent with fragments of mammoth DNA. Yes, you heard that right. It is not a mammoth clone, nor a hybrid creature from a mad experiment, but a key step in the grand mission to bring back the majestic woolly mammoth. To do this, scientists simultaneously modified seven genes in the mouse, altering its lipid metabolism, as well as the texture, color, and thickness of its fur, giving it characteristics similar to those of the extinct giants of the Ice Age. But why create a mouse with mammoth genes? The answer, though it sounds like something out of a sci-fi script, is very real. Every advancement in this field brings us closer to the possibility of reviving extinct species. According to the Colossal team, their woolly mice will serve as experimental models to understand the genetic processes that will allow the partial resurrection of vanished species. In other words, we are witnessing the first foundations of a new era in biology, the era of de-extinction. But Colossal's true ambition goes far beyond a simple rodent with unusually thick fur. Their ultimate goal is to resurrect the woolly mammoth by the end of this decade. Not exactly a clone, but a hybrid between the modern Asian elephant and the prehistoric mammoth, with the genetic characteristics necessary to survive in extreme cold. And it is not just a scientific whim. Researchers believe that returning mammoths to the tundra could restore entire ecosystems and, in the process, help slow climate change. Yes, you heard that right. Mammoths could become ecological heroes. Ben Lamb, co-founder and CEO of Colossal Biosciences, puts it bluntly. The colossal woolly mouse marks a pivotal moment in our de-extinction mission. By engineering multiple cold-tolerant traits into a living model species, we have demonstrated our ability to recreate complex genetic combinations that took nature millions of years to develop. This success brings us one step closer to our goal of bringing the woolly mammoth back to life. We are living in a future that once seemed unattainable, one where the boundaries between reality and science fiction are blurring. A few years ago writing about this would have seemed like an exercise in wild imagination, but now, we are in an era where a group of scientists has achieved something that even the boldest sci-fi writers never dared to dream of, mice with mammoth genes. Who would have thought that the resurrection of a prehistoric creature would begin with a small furry rodent? But, not everyone is convinced this is the best path. Biologist and marine ecologist Sara Frias Torres was quick to question the idea. Are they aware that the mammoth's ecosystem no longer exists? She asked, skeptically. And she is not the only one who thinks this way. Critics of the project argue that instead of investing resources in bringing back extinct species, we should focus on saving those that are on the brink today. But there is another side to the coin. 
Damien Fordham, Deputy Director of the Environment Institute at the University of Adelaide, believes that this technology could be key to the conservation of endangered species. It could be used to reintroduce lost traits that allow certain animals to better resist human-induced climate change, he explains. In other words, what seems like an extravagant experiment with woolly mice today could become a tool to save entire species from extinction. Now, let's step into the shoes of the average viewer for a moment. Let's forget about the big ecological and philosophical debates and think about something more immediate. What if this knowledge were leaked and someone decided to apply these techniques to domestic animals? Could we soon see woolly cats with saber-toothed tiger genes, dogs with the genetic resilience of a prehistoric wolf? Or better yet, could we have our own fluffy woolly mouse as a pet? The colossal woolly mouse is just the beginning of a path that could lead us to unimaginable discoveries. We are witnessing the birth of a new frontier in biotechnology, one that could radically transform humanity's relationship with nature. Are we ready for it? Time will tell. In the meantime, if you ever see a small mouse with unusually dense and soft fur, maybe, just maybe, you are witnessing a fragment of the past sneaking into our present. So, watch the next video. See you there.